No Man's Sky the game will get its biggest update yet on the 24th of July 2018 which is roughly one month from the making of this video. The update is called Next and as the name implies it's the next big chapter in this game's history. It promises to bring some amazing features such as full multiplayer experience, brand new player models, player colonies, at least one new planet and ship type and much much more. Up until now No Man's Sky has received many major updates but Next is the one Halo games have spent the most time on to and it's been almost a year since it's been in development. As we're getting closer and closer to that a lot of folks are wondering if No Man's Sky is worth giving a chance while many are still hesitant and rightfully so due to controversy issues this game had in the past. It goes without saying that the game has been through some massive changes since its release and is now in a better shape than ever. The game has received so many features in the past two years it's now vastly different and more polished than it has ever been before. There's plenty of content in it for you, I personally have over 400 hours of playtime in it and I still have things to accomplish. So between all of the content that you might have missed as well as the big one that's just around the corner, I'll go over all the reason why this is the best time for you to pick up No Man's Sky and play it right now, especially if you never did so before. As mentioned previously, No Man's Sky has seen a spectacular recovery since 2016 with a number of very big updates that introduced new ways of playing this game, it also received a hefty amount of polishing and graphical upgrades and there's still more to come on the way. While it's true that the launch wasn't so great, No Man's Sky has managed to turn that around by quite a lot and this also reflects on the latest reviews it got. Up until today, there have been a total of three major updates named Foundation, Pathfinder and Atlas Rises and next month on July 24th, the fourth and biggest update so far will also hit the stores. With the new update will also come its much deserved porting to the Xbox One so now you'll be able to play the game on all three major platforms. Keep in mind that since the game releases for the Xbox One for the very first time it will include all the features up to date, all of the updates but it will also cost full price. As for PC and PS4 players the game is running through regular discounts and we're even running giveaways on this channel. We already did a giveaway on this channel a few weeks ago and another one will follow shortly before the next update so make sure to stay in tune for that. While waiting for the next update you can check the videos on this channel as well as the Waking Titan ARG that teases new content every week. So far between the recent interview as well as the Waking Titan reveals we know the game will feature multiplayer, PvP, co-op, player colonies, brand new character models, a new type of ship, new planet types and the list goes on. With this amount of content you'll realize that No Man's Sky is filled with stuff for you to do. As mentioned the three updates we had until now brought us many changes as well as never seen before features. While I already made an in-depth video on that going over all of the features extensively, I urge you to go ahead and check that out if you want more details but today we'll just go briefly over the more important ones. First of all the main storyline in No Man's Sky has received a huge needed overhaul. It now features a much more compelling journey and ending, a lot of polishing has been done to it to the point it's significantly different than before. While traveling to the center of the galaxy is still a possibility that's something mostly outside of any quest line, the main story in No Man's Sky ends with giving the player an idea about his own existence and the universe he's in as well as for the path that's ahead of him. The ending is much better now and you are given the choice to stay in your already existing galaxy or choose to destroy it and move into another one. The game allows you to choose between 5 galaxies at the end of it but of course there are currently 255 confirmed galaxies that you can go to. Of course it all takes a tremendous amount of time even visit one let alone all of them. Since we're on the subject of story Alice Rises brought up a new secondary quest line that lasts an estimate of another 30 hours all separate and distinct from the main one so it is worth it for you to finally pick things off as they make much more sense right now. Base building and sharing sharing was possible for more than a year now but it seems some still don't know the full extent of it. To make it short you have the possibility to build almost anything you can imagine as the in-game builder is not only easy to use 
but also very extensive. You can also make your base visible to other players so they can come and visit and register their visits. There's the possibility of building farms and harvesting them for immense profits both by you and by visiting travelers. You can also take part in Exocraft races and even build your very own track on your own home planet. Since we're on the subject of Exocraft, ever since Pathfinder we have gotten three new vehicle types to use on the planet surface. These are called Exocrafts and they will help your planetary exploration be much faster and much more fun than ever before. These can also be used to collect hard to get minerals as well as being used in races against other players. And game content will mostly consist in you finding and acquiring the best possible tech to make you feel like a true intergalactic badass. There are some very good looking ships, freighters as well as multi-tools out there waiting for you to be discovered and purchased. These can also be significantly upgraded with a huge amount of weaponry type and gadgets. Many very cool models have already been found and catalogued by other players so there's a very nifty online resource that you can go ahead and check out. Also I have plenty of videos that that cover this on this channel so if you want a certain multi-tool ship or freighter there's videos on this and I'm gonna post links to them. Well it's true that multiplayer in No Man's Sky is currently limited, Next promises to significantly improve that and bring in a much needed full experience. On top of that Next will finally give us a much needed player model, a co-op mod, PvP and by the looks of it we're getting a new vehicle type that might end up being important for co-op play. You will also be able to form parties with your friends or other random travelers you encounter in your journey thanks to the new co-op system that will be introduced. While there's plenty of details on multiplayer that have yet to be revealed, one thing is for sure, No Man's Sky will finally bring the feature the entire fan base has been dying to see for so long and you'll be able to join in on the fun with your friends as well. Do keep in mind that there there's also the possibility for PvP to happen, you're gonna be able to prey on unsuspecting travelers, you will be able to kill them, hunt them in space or on the planet's surface, steal their loot, so there's definitely a lot of potential in this game. Do keep in mind though that No Man's Sky will not be turning into an MMORPG, but it will let lobbies up to 16 players to be able to play with one another at the same time. Colonies will also make the multiplayer even better. Right now there's one base per solar system limitation. But but that will be removed in the next update when players will not only be able to build on multiple planets their bases but also participate together into building colonies. No Man's Sky has gone through some extensive polishing and graphical enhancement to the point that it's now visibly distinct from how it was almost two years ago. It fixed a lot of its performance issues, it brought in new and better rendering techniques for light, textures and environment, even the procedural generation algorithm was significantly upgraded in order to spawn better looking worlds. While there are still some performance issues especially on extremely lush planets, for the most part this game runs very smoothly even on max settings. Many of the bugs in the game have also been fixed so it's now in its best shape ever. If you are planning to pick up things from where you left, rest assured that none of the updates have ever deleted any of our progression, at most you'll need to redo the main Atlas storyline if you didn't already finish it as it went through a huge overhaul. The universe in itself did get a reset though and you might find your home planet having gone through some major changes because of it. The biome regeneration was needed because of the overhauled galactic view among other things. Mind you, we might get another total universe reset again with the next update especially since we're getting ringed planets. So far there's no mention on our save games being wiped and it never happened before so I'm relatively sure that that won't be a problem. These are just a few changes No Man's Sky went through so far, it's about to get even bigger and more amazing with the next update. For a full list of changes you can check all the patch notes on the No Man's Sky main website. Suffice to say that this game is definitely worth your time right now, especially if you're a fan of space exploration. The developer more than turned things around from how it was at launch and how the controversy affected the overall image. They have expressed numerous times that No Man's Sky will continue to receive free updates for the first future so you know there's always something there to look forward to. The game was definitely not abandoned and the vast majority of players are more than happy with how Hello Games dealt with all the issues. This is why I believe this game is more than worth your time especially if you've been on the fence about purchasing it or if you've stopped playing it a long time ago. If you don't believe me there's plenty of gameplay videos on this channel and the main Let's Play series as well you can go ahead and check out. You can also spice your game up with the wide selection of mods 
you can download on PC. So all in all, you're gonna have a really fun experience in this game. It's definitely made an amazing recovery. I strongly recommend playing this game. It's more than redeemed itself. And there's even a hefty discount running right now, especially with the Steam Summer Sales. You can grab it at half a price if you're playing it on the PC. So I hope that this video proved helpful to you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated. Also activate that notification bell as it is very helpful and I will see you guys in our next adventure.